We have delved too deep. Hey, how's it going? My name is Jackie Fish and welcome back to the laboratory. Once again, we are using a custom map. This is the Skaven Tunnels and it's a really, really fun and unique map. Basically, the scenario behind this engagement is that the Lizardmen have come to exterminate the Skaven in this tunnel. They started to pour into it and then Skaven hordes came flying out of the forest ready to ambush them and there is no escape. They only have one option and that is to stand their ground and fight. We have 5,500 Lizardmen, which don't sound like a lot, but they are all pretty elite, up against almost 18,000 Skaven. So, you know, they're outnumbered 3 to 1, but I feel like their quality will make the difference. We're also using the Steel Faith Overhaul mod, which will hopefully help balance out the game a little bit, you know, making magic a little bit more important, as well as just, you know, kind of making each unit really unique. So that's kind of cool that we're using that. And if you guys want me to continue to use Steel Faith Overhaul Mod in these laboratory battles, do let me know in the description down below. So for our forces on our front line, we do just have some basic Storus Warriors along with the Skink Cohorts. These guys are going to be the units I throw out to try and slow up the enemy whilst I try and reform up the rest of my army. We then have some just basic Lizardmen Saurus Warriors with swords. Right there, I guess more like clubs than anything else. As we go back, we have some Croxagors along with a, uh, a Skink Priest of Beast uh, Lore of Magic. You also have Crocgar with his Scar Veteran and also a nice little Feral Carnosaur back there. Then finally, as we finally make our way back into the tunnels themselves, we have our elite units, the Temple Guard. And this is on times five unit scale, and there's only 250 of them in a unit. So I already know they're going to be absolutely insane on the field of battle. But without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump straight into this one. We'll go ahead and send our skin cohorts up first, uh, just to go ahead and commit them, open up a bit more space on the front lines. And we'll just want to kind of, you know, level out our defenses a little bit, because the deployment zone was a little bit restrictive in the way I could form up my forces. Did these guys not get pushed out? Can I take them out there? There we go, cool. Yeah, so we just need to go ahead and form up a little bit nicer and I'm going to be trying to use just our lines and waves of defenses to try and hold them back and try and keep them at bay for as long as possible by sending our dudes out here. We also have some nice chameleon skinks we're going to try and ambush the enemy with um, and try and get some nice darts off because I believe these guys have stalk. No, they don't. They're just, they're just very, very invisible. I could have sworn that these guys did have Stork, but I'm sure they will just continue to harass the enemy. Uh, we do give the enemy a lot of Wrath Ogres and units like that as well, so it should be pretty crazy. I'm going to try my best to spread out their attack as much as possible, just so we don't get a lot of lag, because as you can see, they're probably going to be clumping up their units quite a lot. But 30,000 soldiers isn't anything too crazy when it does come to these laboratory battles. I think 30,000 is normally quite a decent sweet spot. It doesn't happen to, you know, get too crazy laggy whatsoever. Oh god, these these uh, these rat ogres are coming after us here. That is not good. Well, hopefully our chameleon skinks can they get a volley off on them, but then the rat ogres come flying in. That is not good news for them whatsoever. Let's try if we can to get these rat ogres down. There's just so many Skaven everywhere. I guess try and re retreat up the hill maybe, because these guys can shoot and fire at the same time, which is pretty nice. Some more of our Saurus warriors coming around here. I guess just pile out here and try and engage. Uh, we will obviously want to probably throw up our Crocs of Gores as well. We'll send these guys up there. Oh yeah, we also have Queek on the front lines. We'll send up a few of our like elite units as well. Try and just get involved. So yeah, we'll send up our Saurus Warriors. We have a few more Saurus Warriors in reserve, along with these Crocs of Gores, which will form up a little bit. And our Skink Priest as well. So we'll Skink uh, them up. We also have a Revitalization Crystal as well. So let's send up this Skink Priest as well on his ancient uh, creature. And I'm sure, like, because I did give the Skaven a ton of elite units, but I also gave them a bunch of, you know, not so elite units. So they do have uh, stuff like clam rats. Oh my god, are the skin cohorts routing? Cowards! You absolute cowards are. The green tide is already going to get ready to flood on us. That's not going to be good whatsoever. However, I'm hoping that these crocodiles can do a lot of damage. Are we still? They're still shooting, but we have lost a unit already of the chameleon skinks who have got stuck off here. Yeah, there's just so many Skaven, it's so hard to kind of kite them. Saurus Warriors push forward. We have uh, this right flank going to hold. I'm not sure if it is, but so we're going to go ahead and reinforce the right flank a little bit. Let's send these guys up here. You guys make your way around there. You Saurus Warriors get ready to deal with this abomination which has come up here. We also have a few spells as well, which we can pop off like a nice little flock of doom will be huge right here. And there we go. We're probably uh, going to be just slowing it down for a little bit in the battle. So this flock of doom should be doing a ton of damage. I can't wait to see what else we have at our disposal. A lot of you know, nice buffs, 
We might go ahead and pop off uh, the wisdom off of these guys. Give him a nice little, uh, you know, HP and uh, weapon buff. Yeah, lots of armor. It's not like the Saurus Warriors really need it too much. I feel like we're going to have to send him these Croxigors as well. Just to start you know, fitting down the ranks of the Scaven. There just are so many of them. Especially over on this left flank as well. We're fighting, you know, trying our best to keep them at bay. But they're... Then their numbers are definitely coming in. And with Steel Faith Overhaul as well, you know, the Skaven aren't as bad as they are maybe in the base game. The Skaven can actually definitely hold their own fairly well. Uh, you know, having huge number advantages, which you can obviously see in uh, enacting in this battle. Okay, let's set up Krokgar as well, because Krokgar will offer us a good little morale buff. And Krokgar can do some ga good damage to the Abomination. I might also send up these Spear Warriors as well to go ahead and try and deal with these large, uh, the, yeah, these large creatures. Such as the Hell Pit Abomination. Magic winds and magic wise, we still have plenty in reserve, so we can we can definitely pop that down. Oh, I might try and pop a speed debuff on. Yeah, let's go and pop a speed debuff on on these guys right here, because then we can pour in with like all of our creatures and just slaughter this thing. Yeah, Croc got to turn around. I want to see this. Uh, yeah, I definitely want to see this Doom Wheel completely destroyed. There you go. It should be extremely slow now, due to the curse that we have stuck on it. Any other good bonuses we can pop off? Nothing too crazy right now. We might as well pop that off. Gives us a little bit more speed as well. And we should hopefully just see this Doom Wheel falling to the abyss. Now, obviously, as, we, as we've seen on the field of battle, we're not too scared about losing this front line whatsoever. We still have plenty of more men uh, to throw into the battle. Um, anything else we want to maybe stuck off? We've got some good magic missiles, but that's nothing too crazy. Let's go ahead and just throw in this uh, Stegadon into the battle. Try and do some good damage. I mean, our Saurus Warriors are probably doing a pretty nice job. We also have our Croxagors up here on the front line. They are now obviously fighting some decent units. We do have Storm Vermin and plenty of other monstrous beings. But we also have this huge charge coming in from the Ancient Stegodon. And I'm sure this is going to send so many of the Skaven flying. Oh, he's just not stopping as well, ripping through their ranks. So we do have Blood and Gore on. I wanted, because we only have around about 28,000 soldiers, I wanted to try my best to keep Blood and Gore on because it does make the game lag a little bit more. But, you know, it's always so much cooler seeing, you know, half of the Skaven legs just going flying and the, the torso going the other side. You know, it does make for a much more enjoyable battle. I mean, just look at this alone as well, how, uh, how many units we do have on the field of battle. The Skaven just go for miles, and the Stegodon is not taking any quarter whatsoever. That is beautiful, and hopefully that will relieve the pressure on our forces here as well, because I feel like these Saurus Warriors are struggling a little bit in this battle. The Doom Wheel dead yet? Uh, it is. The Doom Wheel is dead. It's routing, but if we can kill it, that'd be even better. Because then it means it just won't come back. Or if, at least we can kind of mega route it. I mean, it doesn't really stand a chance against this many Carnosaurs. However, the Skaven are now pushing around this right flank after dealing with the Chameleon Skinks. They're going to be trying to seize that advantage. We've had to commit another unit over here. We also do have our Feral Bastillodon here as well. Can we go up to normal speed? Yeah, normal speed looks uh, pretty chill. We just have to kind of get through a bit of uh, problems. We do have a lot of units pumped up on each other. And that is kind of the major issue when it does come to these uh, to these laboratory battles. Is when the units kind of really start to clump up on one another. That's when, that's when it, the game does start to tank. But it definitely has not been too bad whatsoever. That was like awesome. I love the Skaven Bell as well in the tunnel. You'd definitely be able to tell this was a Skaven invested tunnel but I mean, that's kind of, I guess part of the ambush as well the fact that the Skaven did fall for, I mean the Lizardmen did fall from this trap okay let's pop another flock of doom right here extended duration and cast range this should do plenty of damage doom wheel is going to escape but that's fine we can go ahead and maybe find ourselves another target I want to kill that abomination so badly because they are ripping through my front line there oh no these Saurus warriors are close almost on the brink of retreating they do still... Are these Temple Guard or is this normal? No, these are just Saurus Warriors. The Saurus Warriors just a bit of gold on them, you know. Gifted to them by Krokgar, I am assured. Oh my god, this is a mess. The rats are scuttling around everywhere. Saurus Warriors are trying their best as they are enraged. Krokgar is going to turn around and start to try and deal with some of these rats, uh, these rat ogres. Taking them out of the field of battle would be amazing for us. Abomination is still just causing us such a big nuisance. That's why we brought up these Saurus Warriors. Oh my god, that's not good either. We're starting to get a bit outflanked here. 
The flank is starting to cave in as more storm learning come pouring in. And this is going to be very devastating to the actual Proxigors as well. So they're going to try and take down as many, but obviously the storm level being anti-large is going to be very, very deadly. Oh god, baby, that looks amazing. Just these these battlefields where the entire thing is just covered with uh, you know bodies and entities is always so amazing. I mean, just look at that! Look down the flank there. This is a sheer wave of escape. Crocodiles though are sending me escape and flying. I did stick up gravity just a little bit, nothing too crazy. But it definitely is up a bit more than, say, usual. That goddamn Doom Wheel is back, but it's so close. It's up to you, Saurus, Scar Veteran. Go and take him down. We'll pop a few of our buffs. This Carnosaur as well should wreak havoc in that. Chase it down. I mean, even if they come after these guys, it should be fine. I mean, we still have a really nice retreating point whenever we need to. It's just kind of when our infantry does go down and breaks. This is like an escaping tool, so we'll save a hold of that. I mean, I guess we can pop it now. I don't think I, I foresee retreating him anytime soon. That's a really good ability to then just kind of clear out the enemy and then run away. Oh no, over on this flank we have been completely enveloped. And I think the AI is going to really start to flourish when the Storm Vermin kind of get free and don't have to deal with infantry anymore. Because then they can focus them down like on my, my creatures. We do obviously have a Bastilodon right now, uh, just fighting some normal Plague Monks. So they're not going to be doing any damage, but the armor of the Bastilodon is thick. So these guys are barely going to be able to break it with their maces and their, their puny Plague Daggers. Whereas the Storm Vermin obviously have Halberds, so they're much more likely to be able to break that. But until these Saurus Warriors allow these, you know, these rats to go and kill them, they're going to be struggling a little bit. Did that Doom Wheel go down? Please tell me the Doom Wheel is dead, and I'll be very, very happy. Oh no, that is not looking good. Let's, if we can get our mage out of there, that would be amazing. I'm not sure if we're going to though. So we will just pop a few more debuffs, as many as we can. Actually, I guess it would be better to go up here right for him. Pop a nice little flock of doom again. Try and get him out of there. I think we're going to have to retreat Krokgar as well. Yeah, they're starting to pour in. Yeah, nice. The doom wheel did go down. Yeah, right there. Perfect. Oh yeah, they're starting to push in. Retreat back. Anyone who can retreat back do. It's going to be up to the uh, the temple guard now. So let's send in uh, our Crocsigors there just to hold them. I guess Croc guard can just chill there for now. Is fighting Storm Vermin, so probably do want to send up some temple guard uh, as well. I would love to be able to reclaim this. We obviously have this revitalization crystal as well. We can definitely pop off on a few guys. So yeah, Crocsigors go in. Yeah, they just overwhelmed my outer defense. Wasn't even close. I would love to bring this uh, this dude back if I can. If he can get back, that'd be amazing. I'm just not sure he's going to have the uh, the manpower to do so. But we'll continue to pop more spells off. And obviously, maybe getting a uh, Manticore as well would be a good idea. Just continue to rush. We are setting up the Elite Temple Guard. Only, as I said, 250 of them in a unit. We'll also hand and god away this abomination. Try and take it down as best as we can. Hand of god good damage off there on the Elder yeah. Abomination. Pop that, and I guess we'll pop our explosion as well. Maybe try and spin out these uh, Skaven Storm Burners. We're sending a lot of them to the ground, which is going to allow these Croxigors to push up. The Temple Guard are now breaking their way forward. I would love to be able to break this. It's just a shame there's not another way we can escape here, because once we lost the Outer Protection right there, the Storm, the, the uh, Storm Burman and the rest of the Skaven are just flooding in to the tunnel right now. Look at them just scuttering around. The battlefield is littered with both Saurus Warrior and Rat alike. But sometimes these laboratory battles are just so amazing. I don't think our, our Beast Mage is going to get them out of it. I could spam click it, but you know, whatever. That's kind of a little bit cheesy, I guess. Another, I mean, it's, we're getting some good Flock of Dooms here, so... We just pop one Flock of Doom? Okay, that's fine with me. Another Flock of Doom. I mean, how many kills is he on? 200. That's not anything too crazy, but we've definitely done a lot of HP damage as well. Uh, we obviously do have this revitalization crystal as well, which we'll start using as well. Sticking that into effect. Maybe we'll first start off by buffing this unit of uh, Croxigors. We do still have plenty of reinforcements. Well, not plenty, but we do have some, still have some elite soldiers left, which will kind of be our last stand. We'll like stick our, yeah, we'll stick our carnosaurs there so they can just kind of, when the Skaven do flood in, we can then push up more and more soldiers to kind of you know, spread out their attacks. Look at this Bastilodon right now. 
Did they bring? They did finally bring over some clam rats, but not storm burners or clam rats with spears. So this Bastilodon yes, is covered in head to toe in rat blood. Only 172 kills, which isn't a lot, considering they have a lot of soldiers. They are chasing down some soldiers. I mean, as long as these guys aren't involved, they're kind of happy. Oh, that's not great. Uh, Queek has gone ahead and used some of his explosive spells. Proxicals are going ravaged, but if we can take out Queek, maybe, yeah, we're nice. We've gone ahead and divided Queek from his men. Obviously, Queek is pretty good in combat. You no, know, he's definitely a strong lord, but against Cro Crocker on his uh, on his mount, I highly doubt that. We'll go ahead and hand God him again. Hand of the gods, he will perish. I love the way Crocker just stands on top of his uh, beast, fires him in. And I guess now's a good time to go ahead and cold blood as well, because he's not really being fought by too many people. So we can go ahead and cold blood, get that HP back. Do we want to? We probably do want to use our revitalization crystal once again on the temple guard. Just keep them nice and healthy as more and more of the Skaven come in. If, as soon as this Hellpit Abomination goes down as well, I think we'll be in a great, great uh, like, position here to push on. I'm actually going to tell Croc Guard to go and kill him as well. Oh, sorry, this is the explosion spell, right? Yeah. Which we haven't been using yet. Let's try and kill this, and then we'll kill Queek, and then we'll just push in the Tomb Guard. I mean, there's still an entire number of Abomination right here. How has this Carnosaur been? There's no other way he's in, right? I was going to say, oh, can you get through here? No, you can't. Yeah, you definitely can't. Great. I was going to say, if they can start piling in from the side, that would not be good whatsoever. Kill that abomination. Rip out its throat, Crocgar. I don't know if that's even going to kill it, but do please do. Finish it. Queek is obviously also very low. And I guess we're going to send up at least one more unit of our Temple Guard to try and help out. We still have, you know, some men left in reserve. Just two units of Temple Guard now left to be the Divas Rats. But we also have all of these guys as well. I'm just going to probably kill Queek. Actually, no, do I want to commit? No, I kind of want them to come up a little bit, you know? I'm actually going to retreat this unit and kind of almost let them approach us. Yeah, let's retreat. There are some Skaven Spears here for some reason. Let's kill them, I guess. Nice, the Abomination is down. They do have more coming in. And we can just see the sheer strength right now of the Temple Guard. As they are holding this line, they're not... Oh my god, look at that! That is insane! That has to be the screenshot right there. I'm just seeing the Skaven pouring in from the hills. That is crazy. They were just flowing in like water into our formation. However, the Temple Guard, as you can see, are going to be cutting these guys down. Now, obviously, the, Cl the Storm Vermin with swords and shields are going to be doing great, and the Storm Vermin... With them halberds, they're going to be doing a good job. Our main issue, though, is killing this abomination. And what I might do, actually, is I might send in... Where's the revitalization crystal? It's right here. Okay, we have some more charges, right? Let's go ahead and pop them on the temple guard again. These clan rats have obviously been destroyed. Oh, yeah, I definitely do want to bring the Skaven War into here so we can kind of use our numbers against them. However, I'm going to be sending in at least two of these Feral Carnosaurs here. Try my best to kill this Hellbit Abomination because I think that's going to be my biggest issue right now. Um, but I kind of do want to hold them in this, in this kind of tunnel right now. So yeah, fuck it. We're going to send in another unit of, uh, of Temple Guard. I obviously have been extremely uh, indecisive. But, you know, with, with killing Queek, which we are about to do, we might be able to simply just win the battle right here. You know, we might be able to mass route the sheer, you know, sheer amount of, uh, of Storm Vermin and Skaven. Like, the Storm Vermin, probably not. But everything else, maybe. Everything else, definitely, maybe. See Croc Guard there piling himself into enemy line. I should probably be a bit more secure with him. So what we'll probably do is we'll probably use our explosion. Pop our buff and then get, get down to there again. Let's just fall back. I don't want to send you too deep into enemy territory, Croc Guard. Good thing we are setting up another unit of Temple Guard to help out as well. As we said, we want to make sure that we take out this Hellbit Abomination. That's going to be our ma major issue. Temple Guard pouring in now. It's another unit. We have seven charges left of this revitalization crystal. I guess we might as well use it again on this temple guard, trying to bring a few of them back. Queek is still alive though, just about. The, uh, 
Oh my god, the cop scores are going in right now. Along with our Scar Veteran as well. The Scar Veteran try and take him out. And then Crocgar and the rest of the boys are trying to deal with this Hellbent Abomination. Which is absolutely fine. Killing the Hellbent Abomination would be great. If only this was an actual flamethrower right now, that would be burning so many of the Skaven. Come on, we want to see Queek dead. We want to slay Queek. If we kill Queek, we probably win the battle. As it is, you can tell it is still super close. Get ready to pop our buffs once more as we continue to chase down and fight the help it. I just honestly didn't bring myself enough like enough bonuses. Um, I might also revitalization crystal when we have it back onto uh, onto the uh, onto our general. Just kill whatever temple guard. You are the brave elite soldiers. Hold your line. Push the enemy back. If you can, that is, there's so many. The weight of numbers must be really starting to uh, fly. Actually, let's have a look at numbers as well. We haven't taken a look too on that too recently. Is Queek still alive? Oh my god, he is. He must be so low. Bring him down, someone, for the love of God. We'll send Crocgar after him as well. Crocgar, please just you know, eat him, devour him. He must be so, like, he's rousing again. We want to kill him because he'll just come back again. I can't really even select him quick, he's on 50, uh, 1400 HP. Just devour him boys, just devour him. We also have another Feral Carnosaur over here, just doing some damage. I mean, hopefully he'll come back and we can bring him in the flank. We do actually have some uh, some forces over here. Yeah, we actually have our Feral Bastilodon still going away at it. Up to 282 kills again, that's not really too much. Let's go ahead and revitalize Crocgar. I want to keep him as healthy as possible. Nice little explosion there. Setting the rats flying. We also send the rats deep into our own ranks so we can deal with them that way. I think Queek went down. Yeah? Come on. So that should be devastating for the morale. I have got the morale up to a, you know, a decent amount, but they are going down. We only have 11,000 soldiers left. Once we only have 700 left, so we're not exactly sitting too pretty either. But God, continue to fall back, dude. You guys are going way too deep. Do I just make my stand here or do I allow them in? That's the question. I think I think we retreat back. I, wanna, I really want to kill this hell bit of abomination. That's the thing. I would love to see this hell bit of abomination going down. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to commit all of my dudes with the hopes that we won't go into some uh, some mindless rage. Just pop all our buffs on our Scar Veteran. And we'll just have to hope that we can, if we can kill this hell bit of abomination. I think that'll be a big blow to their forces. We're bringing in this feral carnosaur as well to help out. And then we can maybe just retreat back our retreat back our boys. Right, so those are just coming back soon. Go ahead and pop that physical resistance. Okay, we definitely have a lot of rats left. But we're definitely doing a lot of damage. I mean, how many kills are we on now with uh, some of our units? Croc guards. I mean, we're not really racking up too many kills. I'm really disappointed. I thought, I thought like my soldiers would do a lot better than they are doing. They're just really not cutting it. The yeah, health abomination is really low though. Everyone on him. We want to bring him down. The problem is, when you're using dinosaurs, they like to attack other things. And our, our elite squad are just not doing what I need them to do. I need them just to solely focus down this abomination. Have another revitalization off of the temple guard. Come on, keep on fighting them. If you're escaping, you're simply just waiting for your time to get stuck in and it's definitely a hard task to actually get your soldiers up here to fight. Abomination is still alive! Someone! Take it down! I have never told you guys to do anything besides kill this help of Abomination. Is Queen still alive? Because this thing has stand your ground on. Queen better not be alive somewhere. No, he's, no, he is alive. What the hell is he doing? Someone please kill him. He must be so low. 1200 HP. Please just kill him. Please just kill him. He's routing, but I don't want him to route. I want you to eat him. Nice. You guys have taken out the health of Abomination. Now let's see if you guys can take out the rest of the guys. Queek is so low, but he's just going to run and come back. Run and come back. And until we really manage to... Okay, let's, I think we're going to commit everything now. Because I want, I want to break through this line, if I'm honest. 
Let's commit everything. Everything come in. We're going to try and fight our way out and kill Quick. Because look at him. He's just he's fleeing. He's really quick as well. Look at him go. Because he's going to come back from routing at some point. And I would love for my boys to be able to chase him down. We'll try and make a nice little way for him so we can come in. Just go kill him. Or at least chase him off the field of battle. The Temple Guard vote, I definitely need to stay there and, and fight. The boys are getting reinforcements. More, more soldiers coming in. They're actually a bit negated as well. Or neglected. Another revitalization on our um, these temple guard, these wounded temple guard. The rest of the boys now coming in. We'll send everyone in. Have the, the, the killing. Oh, nice. Nice. Managed to kill him. Perfect. Good on you, Scar veteran. You did what no one else could do. This should definitely hurt the morale. Could we just see ourselves pushing out of here? Hopefully. We'll leave him in there for now. Croc guard continue to come around. Oh, yes, we're just going to straight up round them, killing Queek might have been the way to victory in this battle we were obviously still severely outnumbered but maybe we definitely still stand a chance only 600 soldiers left the revitalization crystal having to come in now as well oh that's not that's not too healthy on the frame rate i guess we're going to play on slow mode just for a little bit do we have any more abilities left on crocker nothing too crazy right now yes continue to push out of here Continue to do the damage, bring it in. Just try and routing it, route as many of these guys as possible. Because the thing is, once we start routing a bunch of them, we'll get a nice little army attrition building up. And it, uh, hopefully, we can just continue to keep our temple guard healthy. Because that's going to be our key to victory is this temple guard right now. They make up a large portion of our units, throwing in their clubs and swords and spears into the storm vermin. Nice energetic losers. I mean, they are fighting with sensor bearers, but the sensor bearers are really good at anti infantry. I'm hoping this uh, this unit right there can just hold firm for now. Krokgar is still fighting in hard. Oh, that's our Scar Veteran right now. Don't want to quite pop our cold blooded yet. Let's continue to route them if we can. Yeah, we just want to cause as much havoc and as much nuisance. We are starting to actually route you know, the weaker units, the Skaven Spears and stuff like that, are just straight up going now from the field of battle. We have the rest of our forces in. No more abilities left. We are just down to the hard fighting. If only I still had a couple flock of dooms left as well. That would be so useful right now. We want to try and obviously route the, uh, the, the weaker like clan rats and stuff like that. We have Storm Memory on our left flank. Let's do a few more right revitalizations. Probably put one more on Krokgar because he is still super healthy. You still have your cold blood in, so we're in no rush to use it on you. We just need to cut our way through the enemy. Which we are slowly doing. Temple Guard Bird, just such tanky units that it's going to take them a while. But I'm sure they are going to get to it eventually. I mean, the, the, the main damage is that right there. You know, our Carnosaurs, our Scar Veteran, and that Feral Carnosaur we have there as well. The revitalization crystal as well. You know, these things are pretty tanky. And he's pretty much used all of his charges by now. He only has two left. So we're probably going to pop two more on our infantry and we just hope for the best. How many kills is this unit on? 500. I guess that's okay. Again, I was really hoping for a lot more. The Feral Carnosaur is still fighting away over here. And I think this unit of Stormbird with shields is finally going to take him down. He's been fighting for a long last time. So we're starting to see more and more of the Skaven army routing, but the problem is it's just coming back and we do not have the forces to pursue it. What we really need to have happen is a huge mass route for this because there is so many of them. Krokgar is just having to cut down and he's up to only up to 200 kills. Wow, again. Really disappointing. I thought Krokgar would have been slaughtering the rats. I think that's our main problem right now. We're sending many of them flying, but they're leaving it up to the Temple Guard to break out here. And until we route the Storm Vermin, we're just not going to win this. I'm not, I'm not feeling too confident about this battle because, as you can see, you know, these rats are routing. They're just coming back. So, you know, even though I mean, the enemies have 10,000 soldiers left, I'm, I'm going to continue skipping through this to see how it does pan out. We have our last revitalization crystal, and I guess we're going to use it on... I guess on our temple guard, because they're the ones who seem like they're doing the most amount of damage, so I guess we want to try and make them as healthy as possible. I am trying my best to try and get my uh, units over here so they can actually cause these guys to rout. Again, I'm, I'm definitely struggling. I'm always making sure I'm popping my abilities. 
But I don't know. I feel like Escaven might have us here as Croc Girl once again comes flying through. Severely disappointing. Croc guy, I thought I could have killed a lot more if he just put his mind to it. I mean, at least now he's a little bit further off on the flank, so I don't know. I say that and he just dives straight in, but that's Croc guy for you right there. Again, their morale is just too high, and we don't really have enough stuff to just to force them down. I mean, that's a nice little explosion that helps out. Temple guards continue to cut them down, but, you know, just more rise. And as soon as this left flank goes, I think we'll see the Skaven pouring in through my flank. And the end might be nigh. So we're still fighting hard. I've skipped ahead a couple more minutes, but we are dropping numbers fairly quickly. However, we are starting to route a few of the Skaven for real now, you know. They've just gone ahead and lost like close to 600 men there so we are reducing their numbers but there's just 8,000 of them left i feel like we don't have enough kind of damage dealers in our army to really end this you know unlike say the empire who have their gunners and cannons if we maybe had some heavy artillery i think we could have maybe slaughtered the skaven but we have a lot more of like single target damage as the lizard men and just sturdy infantry and i just don't think we're gonna we're gonna be able to rack away you know we're very much a slow burner we're kind of like a more, a less missile-oriented dwarven faction as we have them with these, you know, ferocious beasts, and which the dwarfs don't have. But the dwarfs make up for that with their artillery, which I think would really help us out in a scenario like this. But nonetheless, we have definitely fought bravely, and we will fight to the bitter end. We will keep our soldiers focusing. I mean, I think as soon as Croc goes, God, Croc God does go down. We might, see, uh, we might see our forces starting to crumble. I mean, we definitely can still win. As you can see, more and more of their soldiers are starting to rout. Of course, it's just, it's just mainly the clan rats going and the storm vermin are, are just still holding and, and keeping their positions hard and not retreating. But I like the way how we have pushed up. You know, you, you guys think back originally, we were fighting right here and now our forces have, you know, kind of pushed the enemy back, but they have lost too many as they do continue to make that push. And we're also not getting any crazy numbers, you know, much like you would like the great swords and stuff of the Empire who rack up, you know, thousands of kills. We've had that in the past in these other laboratory battles, but it doesn't have the Temple God have the capability of being, you know, a heavy anti-infantry dub unit. I mean, they do have 500 kills, but, you know, for such an elite unit, it's kind of a, a bit sad to, to, sad to see that. Oh, Scar Veteran is retreating now. Krokgar is very close to routing. Is that going to be it? Is our morale going to go down? We'll try our best. Obviously, we will stick around, but I think that's going to be it. Especially now, our Scar Veteran is gone. I'm surprised this thing is still alive. Where even is it? I was aware over here. I'm surprised that's still alive. I guess we'll send in and try and do a, a famous last stand, but if we just speed things up, I guess we'll, we'll really, really see our unit starting to crumble as Croc Guard does bravely fight on, though. The Temple Guard have abandoned Krokgar and he stands alone, trying his best to uh, take down as many rats. But it does look like the Skaven ambush is going to be victorious. They are going to overwhelm the defenses. I mean, just look at the bodies around this tunnel. That looks pretty insane, I'm not going to lie. The sheer scale of the battle we've had. Oh my god, Krokgar went down to minus one leadership right there. He's fluttering. And there you go, he routes as well as more and more of his troops go off the field of battle. So we did end up getting beaten back there by the Skaven. We lost 4,000 soldiers, only took down 8,500, wow. I mean, obviously our creatures, you know, are monstrous stuff like, I mean, the Croxagore is getting over 1,000 kills. But the rest of our infantry, the Temple Guard really let me down in that battle. I'm, I'm actually quite disappointed in just how bad they are. I was kind of expecting, you know, a bit more of an elite force, but we just didn't really see it whatsoever. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this battle. If you did, make sure to subscribe. I have a really, really awesome laboratory battle coming your way very, very soon. It's kind of like a Kingdom of Heaven Bretonian map. And we're gonna, I don't know who we're going to fight against. Probably the Beastmen. And we're going to play as Bretonia and basically just hold this huge breach. But they, the, map made, the map makers made it really, really cool. And there's kind of siege towers on the walls already. And there's a huge breach. And there's loads of defenses outside the city and stuff. So make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And also make sure to drop a like on this video if you're looking looking forward to that battle and make sure to also check out my tomb king uh gameplay i went ahead and uploaded some new of the rise of the tomb king dlc which you can find uh, on my channel it'll be you know obviously one of the last videos uploaded and i'll see you guys next time and fish out